So you guys want to get more FPS on Destiny or any game actually. I'm going to go over uh, MSI Afterburner for overclocking your GPU and we're going to see the difference on Destiny between just stock performance and just doing a little bump up on the uh, MSI Afterburner. So let's go ahead and get into that. All right, guys, so we got MSI Afterburner open. And as you can see, these are the default settings. Um, so we're going to get a baseline for our uh, destiny here. Now we got it open and we're into the tribute hall. I'm going to go into open settings so you guys can see we're at full screen, 1440p, VSync's off, no frame rate cap. Um, I've got custom here, but everything's on high or highest. I just turned off motion blur and wind impulse. So let's see what we get as we're running around here. Very respectable, about 150, 135. So about like, I, I'd say 145 average. That's fair, right? 145 with no combat. Alrighty. We're gonna leave the game open. Okay, so now to overclock, if you guys have never used uh, MSI Afterburner, it's actually pretty easy. You could either hit this and it'll just read your graphics card and put it through some stress tests and uh, you could get a free couple free performance out of that. But basically, you're going to want to come into um, the settings here, the little cogwheel. You're going to want to go to general and make sure all of these boxes are ticked. And then also you're, you don't necessarily have to do this, but I like to set up a pretty aggressive fan curve. So after it hits um, 30 degrees Celsius, it just starts ramping up aggressively all the way to hundred percent if it hits 70, because at about 70, it's going to start um, thermal throttling. So it'll start down clocking and you'll get less performance. So you want, you know, the fans to go as quick as possible at that point. But if you're worried about uh, noise, then you know you can always do some more steps in between so once you have all those checked you can come over here and uh here's my current profile you're going to want to just slide core voltage all the way up and power limit all the way up temp limit's going to go with it because they're tied together um and then you these two are what's going to make or break your uh your game if it crashes and blue screens it's fine just make sure you don't have this checked so it uh, won't apply on Windows startup. Once you have a um, stable overclock, you can save it to one of these profiles and then make sure you hit apply. And then once it's all applied, um, we can go back into here and we'll see if our slight overclock did anything for us. All right, so we're back in Destiny. And as you can see, we've already almost hit 160, which isn't too bad. 162, 168. So what were we at before? Like 145 to 150 and it dipped to 130. It hasn't even dipped under 140. And we've hit 166. That's not too shabby, guys, not too shabby. So we'll go ahead and alt tab back out of this. Um, it might take you a while to find some stable clocks. Like I said, if you want to just hit the OC with the quest or the, the, uh, magnifying glass at the top, it'll, it might take a while, but it'll hopefully find a stable clock speed for your card because all cards aren't created equal. They should all be close to each other, but the dies might be different and the Silicon, you never know. That's why it's called the Silicon lottery, but, uh, you can click that. It might take like 30 minutes. I've done that on one of my cards, but not this one. But if you do get a crash, it's not a big deal because um, you can just restart it. Hopefully your whole system doesn't crash, but it can. It can freeze up. You just want to restart it. And as long as this isn't checked, you're going to be good. But if you do accidentally check this and it reapplies that overclock on startup, if you go into you want to boot into safe mode, delete MSI afterburner and it'll wipe the um, 
your uh, overclock profile and then you can just re-download it and start from there but just make sure you don't have this checked and then once you do find a, st a stable overclock you're going to want to hit the uh this little floppy disk and then click one of your profiles but uh yeah that's going to be about it for me guys hopefully you get a few more fps out of um destiny this could work on any game by the way it's not just destiny it's just a quick and dirty overclock because you guys could end up having free performance just sitting on the table but hopefully you found this informative and uh, i'll see you next time my friends bye, -bye.